so many great movies have had Boston as a key spot in the game. Story is it unfolded tonight. The story of the Stanley Cup final unfolds inside TD Garden. The fans are making their way in. It's going to be a raucous environment, but don't expect the Blues to be overwhelmed. They're seven and two on the road. We welcome in Emily Benjamin to talk about the captain of these Boston Bruins. I've done a deep dive on so many players in the NHL. I've never been more impressed than I am with Big Z. What a player, what a guy. He, he is truly unique. That word gets thrown around, but there is no one like him. I, I sat down with him a couple days ago, and what was really interesting to me is what matters to him at this point in his career. He's 42, he doesn't care about the stats, the goals, now that he's gotten his 200th goal, that's done. Now it's about winning championships and, and, and really cementing his legacy in terms of his leadership, what he has done to bring this team and this franchise to this point, change the culture. It's a lot different than when he came in in 2006. That's for sure. And, and a young defenseman that's going to be looking up to him is Matt Grizzlick, local kid. I ran into his dad over here a couple hours ago. Jameson Coyle pointed him out to me. He had the greatest conversation outside uh, TD Garden here. What, how awesome of a story is this about a local boy living out his dream? It's absolutely incredible. I mean, this is a kid who his dad would realize when there was free ice at, at TV Garden and call him up and say, come on over, kid. He was out there with the crates. He was out there as, you know, this tiny kid. That's so cool. This is literally what he dreamed of, was taking the ice. Though so I was talking to him this morning, and he said his dad might be, even be a little bit more excited than he is for this moment. It's the power of the dream and the work in behind it. And that's exactly why it's so important for all of us. But it, I mean, regardless of your age, but especially for youngsters to aspire and set your goals high, to be able to aspire towards accomplishing great yes. things. No better example. Congrats to Grizzlick and his family. I mean, that's the power of intention followed by attention. And he went to the Stanley Cup parade in 2011. The duck boats rolling by. Reminds <laughs> me of Dylan Larkin. Larkin did it with the Red Wings. That these guys love the team that much and end up playing for that that's team. Crazy. That's one thing. But he's been really affected. That's a different layer to it. Absolutely. He has been a guy that this Bruins team has really come to rely on. You know, I think there was a little, there are some question marks when he came in. Was he too close to Tory Krug's game? You know, could he succeed? He's a smaller guy, especially when you look at the St. Louis defense. It's sure. one of those towering giants. He's a guy who at 5'9", has really been able to come in and forge his own path and been a crucial cog for this team, especially this season where they've lost seemingly half their defensemen at some points. He's been a really steady presence. And the steady, the guys have been steady now have been steady and contributed a lot in 2011 too. Can you talk about how they continue to be big difference makers? It's really interesting. These are guys who have grown up together. They were in their early to mid-20s when they came in. They won in 2011. Maybe they weren't the most responsible as David Krejci uh, admitted the other day. Now they all have kids. They've, their kids play together. It's been sort of this amazing transition for these guys. They're, they're good friends, but they really are the, the influence that has um, sort of been woven throughout this franchise over the past decade. I mean, these are the guys who were instrumental in the Joe Thornton trade, yep. and now, in 2019, they're still leading this team and still the biggest pieces of this team. You know what's pretty interesting about this team as well is almost 100% of this team from both the coaches and playing staff, uh, sorry, the coaching staff and the players, excuse me, have all played in the American League. Mm. That's incredible. Development. So a lot of people are talking about development, but one thing you got to say about the Bees is they have Providence just down the highway, and they've done an amazing job of drafting and developing and continuing that development pipeline uh, for their NHL team by way of the American League. And the fascinating story he told that Bennington helped develop him, and exactly. they're going to try and score on him tonight. Yep. Last thing for you, how about these two teams? Mirror images of one another. We've heard that said so much. Yeah. How does that strike you? It's so interesting. It's, when you look at the numbers, the numbers are almost identical. True. It's not just the way these teams play, it's the, the depth down the middle, uh, you know, the goals that they, they've gotten. But number of goals scored, number of goals scored per period through this playoff. I mean, the numbers are almost exactly the same. So you kind of figure that these teams know what they're facing because they've seen it in practice on the other side so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out whether one team can gain an upper hand quickly or if it's just sort of one of those back and forth series we hope it's a back and forth series <laughs> we hope it goes seven great visiting with you and great insights as always